U.S. spacecraft has landed on the moon for the first time since NASA's Apollo mission back in 1972. CTV's Kamal Karamali joins us with more on the mission and what it can mean for the future. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Kamal. This is pretty pretty exciting. What's the significance of all yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was big news. Uh, it landed 6 p.m. Eastern time uh, last night, the lunar landing of Odysseus. And uh, this is a historic lunar landing, uh, Lindsay, for two reasons. First, uh, first of all, this is the first time a commercial spacecraft uh, it has touched down on the moon uh, thanks to uh, Texas-based intuitive machines. And also, this is the uh, first time the United States has returned to the moon in over 50 years. Uh, but, you know, it had its speed bumps. It wasn't an easy landing. NASA's mission commanders calling the landing a nail-biter. There were navigational issues, for one, before they could pull off the incredibly difficult landing. Then it hit plenty of communication issues while the craft tried to touch down and flight controllers scrambled to try and get better contact with the spacecraft, Lindsay. It was a tense few minutes, as I mentioned, 10 minutes while they were waiting for a signal to come back. But once again, just after 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time last night, they got a weak signal back and there was just a, a lot of excitement uh, within uh, the uh, this um, uh, place uh, where, where everyone was just watching eagerly in Florida. Yeah, no kidding. So as you say, a lot of hurdles to get there. But what does NASA actually hope to achieve with Odysseus? Yeah, so this uh, Odysseus spacecraft actually landed uh, uh, roughly around the south pole of the moon. And uh, there has never been a spacecraft, uh, once again, just a spacecraft the size of a phone booth, first of all, uh, landing so close to the south pole of the moon. And the reason being is uh, all the previous Apollo missions landed closer to the equator. There's a lot of uh, crazy and cliffs and just a bunch of hurdles down there. So no one's been so daring to try and get to the South Pole. But the reason they were aiming for that area, uh, Lindsay, is because there's hope to find ice in the for, uh, in, uh, that, that would, you know, kind of uh, allow them to gain access to water. And that would really be able to prolong any mission. So the, NASA is currently looking at uh, sending astronauts back to the moon in 2026. And if they do find ice that, uh, you know, would uh, or water in the form of ice, then that could be used for two things, either fuel or drinking water for astronauts as well. So it could, uh, you know, prolong space missions to the moon as well. So a big, big deal. And we'll just have to see what they find up there. Just fascinating. That's mm -hmm. CTV's Kamal Karamali reporting live for us. Thanks, Kamal. You're welcome, Lindsay.